Good morning, fellow and peeps. I am Scarab, and you're watching Scarab Gaming. Welcome to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in. Today, we're going to continue on with Mortal Kombat XL straight after the intro. Back off, and all's well. Piss me off, and Cassie's gonna meet Uncle Kano. Yeah. I swear to God, I'll kill you. Welcome back, everybody, to Mortal Kombat XL. I am currently uh, Sonya Blade, and I'm fighting Kano. How are y'all doing? Thank you for tuning in, and... Oh, God. I need to remember the controls. Ah, uh, no! Cut it out. There we go. Grab him, throw him, he'd leap, and it's all fine. Okay, so now he appears. Claims to have some information he wants to sell. Uh, make an arrangement, like we found out in the last episode. But instead of that, considering we're mortal enemies in Mortal Kombat, uh, <laughs> we decided to attack him instead. I was blocking! I only had an inch of health though, so that's fair enough. Can you just fuck off? Oh, that's an interesting combo. Cool. Right, what, what are our controls anyway? Uh, energy ring, arc kick, leg grab. Oh, oh, that didn't work. Right, try that again. No, no, no. All right, all right, so, uh, uh, <laughs> I might lose this. There is a chance that I'm going to lose this terribly. Uh, Kano has always been a stick in the mud when it comes to fighting him in all games. Um, I, I really found that Kano has always been a real douche to fight. Just because, like, I don't know, he's, he's always got that, um, a roll that he spam- I mean, not a roll, a uh, move where he rolls, but he spams it a lot. Um, not that he's doing it that much in this fight, but he does have a move that in all the other I games he used to God. spam it all the time, and it was really annoying. He sort of just, like, ends up becoming a small boss. Yeah, that one. That move right there that he just used. He used to do that all the time. Anytime he got up, he would fucking roll into you. And see, he's doing it all... Yeah. Maybe it is in this game. Oh my god, I didn't want to do that. I had an x-ray prepared. Yeah, see, he's spamming me again. This is why he's such a douche. It's just, you can't trust him not to spam moves. Look at this shit. I, ca I can't defeat that. <laughs> ah, I was coughing! Alright, so let's see if I can... Fuck off, buddy! No! Go away! Ah. There we go. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to beat him as Sonya. If I was Scorpion or Sub-Zero, I'd have a chance. But the Sonya Blade, I'm not quite sure. Because uh, I don't know when to exploit him. He's so fast. When he uses that move, he's like ridiculously fast. So I don't know when, when to take advantage of that. Or what move I should use to take advantage of that. I don't know. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, Kano! Go away! Thank you. Uh, now I've got to win this one. Otherwise, I'm going to like embarrass myself in front of all my inner peeps. Anyway, let me know how you're doing in the comments. I really, really like hearing from you guys. So, uh, there's been a couple of votes. One that was to do with what game I should continue playing, which was, uh... Oh, hang on, hang on. Ah! Which was Bioshock. Uh, a lot of people wanted me to get back into Bioshock, which is actually... I think it was the first game I decided to play on my channel back when I was a noob at YouTube. Uh, <laughs> a YouTube noob. Oh, yeah, that was awesome! Sorry. Uh, and now I've also got to cut my hair because it's just getting too long and unmanageable now. There was one vote to to keep it long. I mean, that, there was plenty of votes, but I put up a poll and it was either cut my hair, no, cut my hair I'm short, not done with you. or shave my head. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. All right. Get off me. Sonia, ease up. You killed me. Never find Amulet. Okay. Sonia, we need that info. Sonia, don't make this another thing you regret. She has a lot of hatred for Kato. <laughs> Talk. All right. The Platon jungle, with at least two divisions of Tarkatans. They're on the move constantly to avoid detection. That's not far. Maybe 200 kilometers. You know what to do. Yes, ma'am. Good luck. Blade out. So this might be the last playthrough you see of me with uh, long hair, just so you know. Kano talked. Gave us the details on Molina's Until location. I grow back out, but... She has the still. amulet, but she's got a lot of protection. We will strike immediately. Perhaps a two-pronged approach. The army will engage Molina, distract her, while this one retrieves the amulet. Not alone. This one's coming with. Still is of the essence. Did you not hear me? You may assist in the main strike. Laura, we will grant their request. And I will finally be rid of Melina. Yes, we're all after Melina. I get it. But... Ugh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Is that a... Is that a butt bug? Is that a bug you put in someone's butt? Is that a butt bug? This one understands your logic, but does not reach the same conclusion. Okay. Like others, this one is not heed with Melina as color. But it is not clear your who will succeed. That is why I invited our Zaterran friend. Reptile. Listen and join us. I know things about Melina. Her troubled rule will fall in the telling. I really don't it's like him. the way for Quatal. Like this. I like him what in humanoid form. More human. He needs skin. I'm okay with him having like reptilian eyes and maybe a tongue or something. Ah, there they are. You should be a shapeshifter, if, if anything. Whispering like handmaidens. About what, I wonder? If only you would hear our counsel. As war with Netherrealm looms, I have urged detente with Earthrealm. And I've told you I would sooner die than treat with my father's murderers. You refuse practical solutions to credible threats. You endanger the realm. And sedition does not? Speak your last before I have your tongue. You are not Shao Kahn's true heir. She is a construct formed in Shang Tsung's flesh pits. Yeah, that is I true. Saw this. Your best claim to the throne is moot. How dare you? I succeed Shao Kahn by his decree. Succeed him you have, but outworld demands new leadership from you Arshtek fool kill him <laughs> this one serves Nelina no longer <laughs> ah! you will defend your okay, empress so there is inner turmoil in Outworld he's dead he will serve who we choose <laughs> the question is who am I going to fight us <laughs> Ooh. Uh... Still, you found Melina. Shao Kahn conquered my realm. I owe him my loyalty. I honor his will. Yeah, but he's dead, dude. Oh, cool. I am Devorah. Uh, I forgot now to play as Devorah, though. All right, so uh, Bug Blast, Crawler, Spawning Puddle, which is what I just did, and Ovipositor Charge? What the hell is that? Oh, that move. <laughs> Eat my butt legs. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, let's see what I can do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm still trying to, like, figure my moves out and stuff, dude. Ugh. Okay. 
Okay. So don't use that move. It takes too long to use. And uh, X-ray this son of a bitch right now. Oh, that's right. She spawns like a whole bunch of flies and stuff. I think she's made up of just several bugs. Either that or she creates them. I'm not sure exactly what Devorah is. I just know that she's disgusting. <laughs> she's disgusting, but she's cool. Now, I remember I used to be really good with this character. I just don't remember any of her moves. It might have been a different version of Devorah that I was playing as. As I was saying in uh, one of the, the previous episodes, you can have three different types of... Um, of special moves in this and uh, three different sort of forms that you can have and one of them was really really useful I think the Devorah that actually wears a hood is uh, the one that I use the most get, get off it Ow, get, stop oh, oh, oh. It's brutal so, so what, do, what do I need to do um Oh, they're easy fatalities. No, I don't need those. I didn't even... I didn't buy those. Why do I have them? Uh, bug Blast and Crawler. No, I don't need Crawler. I need Bug Blast. Ah, oh, damn! I just bit my tongue as well. Ow. Okay, so let's see if we can... Um... Oh, I know what I'm missing. Combos. What are our combos? There we go. All right, so she uses a lot of the X button and a lot of forward with Y. Oh, forward... A, B, X, Y. Oh, Alright, let's try that. Honor his will. Oh! That was cool! Alright, so, uh... Yes. Hey, 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 hey! That's enough! No! That's, that's enough of that! Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool! Alright, cool, cool, cool! No! No! Yes! Stop it! Throw the old lady! <laughs> Thank you, old lady! Your body had a use in this battle. Oh. No! Wait! Stop it! Ah, so that's like a Hadouken sort of move. Makes sense. Ah, oh, he blocked it! Oh, no, no! See, uh, Baraka is very, very good, and I love playing as Baraka because he's. His blades are really useful. He's very quick. He's quick and he's powerful, which makes him a formidable opponent. But hey, 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 hey! Get, no! I, I'm not very good at the moment! Leave me alone! Hey! Stop it! Yeah, take that. Oh, there we go. Alright, cool, I defeated him. Jesus Christ, alright. Gonna have to remember all the controls. It's so disorientating getting um, thrown with one character and then having to use another. I think I did it. I just killed Baraka! That is a, that is a quick time event I was Baraka, never able to do in the past. Your last ally has left you. That was the first time Break I've seen that. Away. That was so cool. Oh man, I spent ages trying to do that in the past. I, I replayed it and replayed it and replayed it just to get you that. I finally did it, Outworld. and I recorded it too. Yes. Is it recording? It is. <laughs> Have to double check. Oh man. So weird playing with earbuds rather than my usual headset. Okay. Cassie Cage and Devorah. There. That's rain. And a Tarkatum. Here to surrender, traitor? You speak of treason. This one knows you desire the throne. Why serve Melina? 
I advise her. Stealing the amulet was my genius. It kills her a bit each time she uses it. Clever plan. Sides diminish. You fill the void. Exactly my plan. <laughs> Watch out. Okay. So I'm gonna have to fight Rain. You will not see its fruition. Oh, last time I fought Rain, he kicked my ass. I think. Because I was Kotal Khan. Um, was it Rain that I was fighting? Or was it? Yeah, it was. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, no, 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 no. And now. Okay, so now I'm a different, I'm a different Devora. This is what I was talking about. Now she has different moves, as you can see. She's got the Bucks Rays, she's got the uh, Spawning Puddle, which is the normal stuff. But she's got, uh... Yeah, yeah, there's, actually, there's less. But... Yeah, no, it's, it's slightly different. And she's got the uh, poisonous sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. So some of her moves are, like, similar execution, but the moves themselves have changed as well. But, um... Yeah, there's there's three different modes for everyone that you can you can play as. It's really cool. Because in the old games, in um, Deadly Alliance and Deception, the you press like the L button to uh, or the L trigger, whichever one you want to call it, uh, to change stance, and that would change your martial art. So like you could be I don't know, Jeet Kune Do, Karate, or um... oh shit, shit, shit. Or like judo or something like that and um it all depended on who you were and what your things were i think there was like uh everyone had a oh uh, man i'm just talking and i'm losing uh everyone had a weapon so you had like two martial arts and then a um a weapon as well that you could use and there was combos that you could switch your stance between them as well which was really cool um but in this one you select the beforehand rather than shipping and changing during combat so it has changed a bit over the years, but I've got to say, the original games uh, were, were a little bit harder because they weren't as perfected as this, um, but they were uh, they were really good. But the longer combos were like near impossible to, uh, to, to perform just because of how precise you had to be about all of your actions. So it was actually really, really difficult. Your skills end here. Okay. Moving on up. <laughs> Oh, I'm level 10. Sweet. Leaving without your friend, Devora? You have fireballs. Your people believe we avoided your Make island up. out of respect for your solitary nature. We just didn't like you. The Kaitin do prefer solitude, which I will achieve momentarily. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Take that. And that. And eat that. There we go. Oh, this is so much fun! I love this game. I, I really do. I, I cannot even begin to describe how much I love this game. I mean, I, I'm very chatty throughout this. I know that the majority of what I've been saying is just like, Ah, oh, fuck off and leave me alone. All that sort of stuff. But like all the history of Mortal Kombat and stuff, it's really hard to talk about with the new characters because I don't. There, there's not much history there because it, it hasn't happened yet, you know? Um, you only know what, what's happening in this game. So in Mortal Kombat 11, which I'm looking forward to if they ever make it. I don't know if this is going to be their last game or not. I, I, I think it would be pretty dumb if it was. Because um, Mortal Kombat's been a, an amazing franchise throughout the years. They wouldn't just, like, abandon it. This can't be the final Mortal Kombat, is what I'm saying. They might go a different direction in the future, but, um, yeah, it'd just be really interesting to see these characters in a, a expanded storyline. Um, I would love if they, like, made a sequel to Shaolin Monks. That would be really cool, like another beat-em-up sort of game. Um, and if they sort of brought back, like, conquest mode in in these Mortal Kombat games. Now two Daniels will die. Where it's like more open world and you can walk around, beat people up, and, you know, have some sort of story as they did in Deception. It was so good! It was so good. Um, I just want them to bring that back. I know you back. said you weren't friends, but you're not killing them. Head's fine, by the way. Very well. But maybe a better That's voice acting than they did in the previous games. This game is a, is a step up in, in regards to voice acting, but um, overall Mortal aside. Kombat has always had bad voice acting. In the story segments, at least. That is really disturbing. Yes, it is. Devora. Gross. 
Oh, that's gross. This one knew you would not stray far from the amulet. You took my throne. Now you wish to steal my means of reclaiming it? Neither was meant for you. Who are you to say? I will take something of yours. Your life! Oh, I thought you were going to say my virginity because no one wants to have sex with Bug Lady. No offense to her, but I just don't see it in her foreseeable future. Maybe it may be a bug man. She might be able to have sex with a bug man, but I don't, I don't think there's going to be just a, you know, your average humanoid that would consent to such as. No, I, I, ju I just don't see anyone having sex with bug lady. Yeah. Uh, there, there's probably people out there that have thought about it, but I just, I just don't really see that as a as a big thing on a big scale. Hey, out of all the characters you can choose in this, Bug Lady would be the last. No offense, but I mean, you're made up of thousands and thousands of bugs that carry diseases and... I don't even want to think about it. Imagine the rash you would get afterwards. Ugh. Anyway, I always, I always make things go for a term for the worst, don't I? It's not my fault, I'm a little bit messed up in the head, okay? Things happen. And then I comment on them, and then I record them and release it to the public, and for some reason I actually keep releasing stuff like this, where I really shouldn't. But it is an R-rated game, so I can say what I want. This one will enjoy your death. Indeed. It's rated R for violence, I guess. But my... <laughs> Enough of your profanity. I'm rated R for profanity. Finish me, that I may join my father. Okay, your face is slightly different. You do different. not deserve death by an emperor's hand. Instead, I give the honor to my worthy first minister. It's like her mouth is only half Takatan. It's supposed to be full Takatan. Well, at least the old Molina used to be full Takatan. Hmm. She didn't really have lips. Fatality! That was disgusting! Another reason why I don't think people want to have sex with Bug Lady. For that exact reason. No one wants that to happen to their face. The rebellion is over. Well, thanks for that. I know I'll never eat again. Yeah, I'm deeply disturbed. With your leave, we're gonna head back to Earthrealm. Put the amulet back where it belongs. Ugh. The hell are you doing? Earthrealm cannot be trusted to protect the amulet. It will remain with me. The Reiko Accords require the that Accords you- The Accords no longer concern me. But you may prove useful when Raiden comes for this. Uh, this is so much betrayal! Oh, that's right, it's Mortal Kombat. Betrayal is sort of like a big thing in this game. Or in this series of games. This one deceived them. The amulet is in Kotopan's possession. Yeah. You can retrieve it. He trusts no one else to transport it. Keeping you close to the Outworld throne these many years has proven most fortuitous, Devora. They never suspected one of their own to be a disciple of our lord. This one lives to serve Shilok. You okay. have done well. Now bring it to me. Without delay, Quan Chi. I want to know why Quan Chi is loyal to Shinnok. Like, I know he always has been, but I want to know why. What does Shinnok have over him? Or does he just believe in the cause? Destruction. What news from Alpur? Fucking everything up. Shinnok will soon be freed. We make for my fortress. Well, there's Liu Kang and Kung Lao. Seem to be his slaves. Is there a problem? Two problems. Do you have to melt everyone's face? I mean, come on! She's not very nice. That is not how you make friends! 
Okay, Deborah, that is not how you make friends. Oh, don't, don't you still be? Oh, you son of a. Everyone is betraying everyone. Hey, there's Jax, and he's no longer a zombie. This is farmer gear. Your wife told me I'd find you in here. You and Vera have a nice chat? Always. Is that a national? I haven't seen one you this- You didn't come here to discuss farm implements. No. Nah. All right. I'll cut to the chase. I want your BBC again. I need your help. <laughs> My help? I know. I don't have any right you to- You knew what I wanted. Jackie volunteered. She came to me. I know. Listen. I get why you didn't want Jackie joining SF. Why you retired. I mean, if I had to live with memories of being one of Quan Chi's thugs... I would have eaten a gun a long time ago. Well, you know Vera. She never would have allowed that. Yeesh. So what is it you need help with? The outworld refugees? Worse. Shinnok's amulet. Melina has it. Damn. And we've gotten word from Serena that Quan Chi has resurfaced in the Nether Realm. Yay. He shows his face after 25 years, just as Shinnok's amulet is in play. That's not a coincidence. That's why I need you. Your Quan Chi expertise. We wouldn't reactivate your commission. You'd be an observer. Sure. An Cage. observer. Jax. What is it? Just wanted to see if maybe... You could help close the sale? <laughs> yeah, because that worked out so well last time. Can't blame a guy for trying. We need you, Jax. Help me capture Quan Chi. None of us is safe if he gets near that amulet. So where's Jackie in all this? Outworld. With Cassie's team recovering the amulet. Mm -hmm. They've been She'll captured. Be fine. We expect to hear mission accomplished from them soon. Now, so they don't know what's going on yet. Oh boy. We're in prison! And we'll have to pick this up in the next episode. So thank you all for watching. This is Mortal Kombat XL and you've been watching Scarab Gaming. Please like, share and subscribe. Hit that bell button to do me a favor. Let people know I exist. And I'll see you soon. And the peeps.